When it comes to newer targets, I mean, the couple of ones to really watch out for, one of them is the Metexon 14 skip mutation. Now, there are a couple of good uh, papers and case series that have recently been published in the last year or so, showing that this is a targetable alteration. You get good responses when you use crizotinib in these patients, although that's still not FDA approved. Cabozantinib is a good drug. As a matter of fact, crizotinib started out as a MET inhibitor, but then it gained traction in the ALK world, but now you're making a full circle coming back to MET. So that's one thing to look out for. The second, uh, the an another thing that I would like to mention is the BRAF V600E alteration. Now, once again, we have a couple of uh, good clinical trial data. Uh, I think s some of this was published in Lancet Oncology by uh, Blanchard and group. This shows that you can target the V600E mutation in lung cancer as well using drugs that you use in melanoma, both dabrafenib and trametinib. And basket trials from the uh, some of the basket trials that have looked at vimerafenib have also seen responses in lung cancer that had the v 600 mutation. And the one other thing to watch out for would be an NTRK1 fusion, NTRK1. It's a new kinase. Uh, it's not a new kinase. It's been around forever, I guess. But then the, re the, f uh, the fact that it gets rearranged in lung cancer and could be a driver alteration, that knowledge is relatively new. And the drugs such as entrectinib, which are now in clinical trials, uh, I think the trial has a very fancy name. It's called Star Trek. And that's something to watch out for as well. Why?